my message today is short but important. Okay. Your connections to one another, do not let them be frayed by things in your body that are not common to you. Does this make any sense? Things in our body which are not common to you maybe not don't belong to us? Energies that are coming to you saying things about others that may not be true. Mm -hmm. Yet you believe them because they are strong feelings. Because they are a strong feeling does not make them a true feeling. Please go into yourself and find if they are positive or negative. For these are the things that you grasp onto in your spirit. If you grasp onto the negative, that is what will come out. If you grab spawn to the positive, that is what will come out. Do you understand? These things that come into you, thoughts and negative ideas that other people are trying to harm you or there's things wrong or there's <clears throat> someone is betraying you, please find the truth before you take action. Yeah. Because many times in this day and age, the action will result in much harm where it wasn't necessary to be in the first place. So delay speaking negatively, delay acting negatively. Until you know the truth. Perhaps asking questions would be a better way to broach the subject then attack do your homework do the research and if you just read something in electronic mail call the person ask them what do they mean correct there are many such problems happening on your planet where people are attacking one another verbally when none is needed it was a misunderstanding or the information was incorrect or the intent was not meant as they took it to be. That's right. That's right. Intent, my friends, will help you unite yourself. If your intent is to unite, you will be united. This is very important to us, that you shine your light and connect instead of disconnecting. This is not the will of the light, the goodness, the Father, any of those spiritual beings that you believe in, believe that you should be connected by the light and not disconnected by the darkness or the negativity. Please grasp that even sometimes when you're not aware of the negativity, it can be coming out of you and poisoning others. Be aware of who you are and what you are doing. Be aware of the atmosphere around you and how you can change it or make it better or worse. You have much control of this world in and of yourself. You can make yourself a positive being and that will help unite and cause others to be positive. And when you're negative, causes others to be negative as well or uncomfortable at the least. Do you understand my children? Yes, people ask, isn't it fear of fear? We sort of say, be afraid of negativity, and it, it by itself is a negative statement. Yes, you must not fear negativity. You just must not entertain it. I want, thank you. I wanted to pass an invitation to your culture. You are, we invite light workers, positive light workers from your culture <coughs> to visit us in meditations. Thank you. Uh, many members of the site invite light workers to communicate to us. Yes, we received many requests. 
we do come to you, and we do pick you up in your prayer times. Yes. We will help you with your vibrations. If they are moving forward, we help them along. If they are moving in an opposite direction, we just let that go for now, because we cannot bring it up when it's moving in an opposite direction. Does that make yes, sense? Yes, I understand. 